So Governor Alex Suti was one of the keynote um, speaker at the Cambridge lectures that was held over the weekend. Well, they talk about a lot of things in government, both in Africa and the global community at large. Well, the video highlight is what I'm bringing to you guys here. You know how I always do it here on the channel. I always give you guys highlight details from every such um, meetings like this. Well, <clears throat> the governor discussed a lot on that one. He shared ideas, new projects he's bringing into the state of Abia and how he's planning so hard to ensure that Abia meets its full potential standard. Anyway, here's the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, share your thoughts below. Enjoy, guys. And for the rest of Africa, we encourage you to actively participate share your thoughts and ask questions. Please join me in giving His Excellency, Dr. Alex Oti, a warm welcome to King Richard. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for being with us today. Uh, we'd like to dive straight into um, our conversation. We have a lot to cover, and I'm sure that the audience here would um, love to ask you some questions and engage with you. Um, so the first question would be, after an illustrious career in banking and finance, um, you decided to go into public service. What was um, the driving force for that decision? I would like to know what led you into making that um, change in career into public service. All right, let me start by thanking uh, you, Chisa. James, for having me here, and then of course uh, appreciating the Joint Business School and the, uh, the University uh, of Cambridge for the great job they are doing in the world of academia. I'm actually honored to be here today. Um, to your question, uh, it's something that I believe was nature. Yes, I was the group managing director and chief executive of a, of a fast growing bank at that time. Uh, during the bank in 2011. Uh, in terms of the matrix uh, for measurement, it was somewhere about number 15, number 16 out of the 21 banks at that time. And in record time of three years, my team and I were touching number six, uh, doubling growth in uh, as profitability, total deposit and a lot of other areas. I also doubled them as the chairman of the committee of and CEOs in Nigeria. And uh, it was a very tough decision uh, to disengage from the bank. Um, I had a lot of pressure even from the then governor of Central Bank uh, because I was the chairman of uh, the Central Bank uh, Committee uh, on Sustainability, Gender and Economic uh, Development. So, but I had uh, thought about it. I come from a state with a lot of potentials to do well, but then I've been underperforming. And uh, I saw that all the time the quality of leadership was not that bad. Uh, with what we expected. And the easiest thing to do was to fold my arms and continue to enjoy the comfort of my office at that time. But then you ask yourself, who will buy the cat? And uh, I thought I should make the sacrifice because I strongly believe that uh, you can never make omelets without breaking eggs. So it was a difficult decision. There was pressure from my family. I remember my father-in-law, uh, who was alive then, we lost him in 2020. Someone in me, uh, he was very close to me, and very cerebral. And um, uh, I 
that's so much I need. Mean. He had to give me permission because he thought that I needed to go. So the performance of my state was not as bad and I thought I could do something about it. Uh, the people themselves were also going down in terms of uh, poverty rate, in terms of unemployment, in terms of quality of education, quality of health care, infrastructure, decay, particularly ABBA, uh, which I'm very passionate about. I was born in ABBA, I school in ABBA, and I knew what ABBA used to be in those days. And then I watched uh, in less than two decades, ABBA declined a lot of industry that were operated at that time had uh, voted with their feet because of infrastructure, decay, insecurity, and just the general poor standards of uh, government. So I took that decision, and I'm glad I did. Uh, even though it took 10 years for me to get there, uh, but then uh, all, all, that, all that ends well as well. So I believe uh, it was the right decision, and I will encourage. Oh,